Hey guys, if you like to party and the stop block is what you're trying to go fast on, we have a new brand for you here. Stop block the world. Go to the link in the video and support us. It should eventually lead to t-shirts, hoodies, and other apparel. What is up guys? I know I say that a lot to start every video or clip and uh, I don't know what to say. It's kind of like uh, Talladega Nights when Ricky Bobby doesn't know what to do with his hands. I don't know what to do with my words. Anyways, you know, as I showed you guys months ago, uh, I got this titanium uh, for the downpipe and dump tube. Uh, you know, dump tube is currently titanium. It's just turned down. Um, but I want to redo it. I'm going to try to get the downpipe done at the very least, um, you know, before Maryland and maybe the dump tube as well. Just kind of have to cut the bumper for the dump tube and get it where I want it. Um, Transmission is still part, you know, just uh, waiting on the converter, so it's not a big deal. I got like maybe an hour to kill before I got to head home today. So I'm, uh, I might try to at least get some stuff tacked up here. As always, titanium, we use from the guys Titanium Dynamics. Um, I, knew, I know Don pretty well up there. He's a good dude, super smart and knowledgeable. Um, doesn't, you know, doesn't just tell you to buy the product, but can tell you how to use it and as far as your welding goes and everything else. So good people to deal with who actually you know, knew how to use the product themselves and not just uh, middleman it. But uh, another thing I want to try to do is make the bullhorn a little less aggressive. I, I think it looks gangster. I love the bullhorn. It's just, uh, it's, it's just, you know, it's kind of out there. But we'll see where we end up at. Um, you know, I, I look at it more so from a uh, aerodynamic standpoint that that is something a little extra sticking out. Uh, you know, and, and at 100 and almost 70 mile an hour, you can't imagine it's not a little bit restrictive. But let's see what we can do today. And also, by the way, it is Friday, April 30th. It is beautiful weather. Last week I had to wear pants again. This week I'm back to wearing shorts. Hopefully back to wearing shorts for a few months. Because uh, shorts make me happy and make me want to do things. Alright guys, Saturday morning. As you can tell, I got this piece tacked up. I need to tweak it a little bit, but just to start with. Um, then, I was having issues cutting the 5 inch in my saw. It was too aggressive. So I need something to stabilize it. So I took a piece of wood and trimmed it down and shaved it. And just cut it super, super, super slow and I was able to not destroy the uh, soap like I did earlier. But now I'm going to get this uh, piece uh, shined up and tacked on and then uh, I'll get an idea where the elbow needs to go. The other day I forgot to show you guys a video of it on the car um, but you can see here this is you know with the, with the front end off there we go as you can tell I got rid of the uh, O2 uh, isolator didn't make a difference and with the exhaust being longer with the bullhorn it's not as big of a deal but now I'm gonna start getting the uh, dump tube lined out check it out obviously just tacked up but you can see what we got going on here you know pretty much the same plane um, looks pretty cool uh, just gotta get when I get time I need to get my argon filled and uh, start putting in some late nights early mornings whatever to get it well check it up. out all right this is the dump tube I uh, got it welded up I think I should better touch it um, yeah it's not perfect I'm not a robot by any means and I haven't done any titanium besides the last uh, dump tube that I made before the wreck. Um, so it have been out for a minute. But uh, so happy how it turned out. It looks cool. I think it mostly looks cool because it's gangster. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, today is, today's Friday, it's Friday evening. Tomorrow morning I will get the exhaust welded. Uh, but digging it. Now this dump tube will obviously weigh more than my other one since the other one was a little stubby but I've been wanting to bring it out in front of the exhaust uh, so I'm glad to, I'll be getting that done as well. So let me uh, get home for the evening so I can get some sleep and get here early and start welding. So Saturday morning I know I need to clean my welding table up. I'm a pig. Uh, 
got this old uh, spare turbine housing here so I'm using that to uh, keep the flange from warping and as you can tell on the bottom side of the clamp there because there's aluminum foil there got a purge plug there and uh, some more aluminum foil here with a hole in it for my back gassing just giving things a second to, to air out and then I'll start burning this thing in uh, I don't think there's quite as many wells as there was on the two and a half inch pipe but these are just longer and I'm just moving super slow with this stuff because I'm really uh, concerned about you know messing it up you can see I'm halfway through just uh, takes this stuff seems, seems to take a little bit longer and maybe it's just me which at the same time I, I did figure out on this one uh, that it was wise to turn the post flow up so I added a couple seconds to that on the uh, uh, titanium there uh, on the welder sorry uh, being dumb anyways so I got two more welds left then we'll get it in place and I'll figure out where the O2 sensor goes but uh, it's getting there it's just eating up some time there we go welded up just need to get it back on the car and figure out where the O2 bung is going to go and then I will weigh it compared to the old one. So as you see, we got it on there. Um, apparently I can't find the no two bung, so I will get one coming. Uh, but I don't need one to start the car up anyways. Uh, I don't rely on O2 correction for this thing to run. But um, definitely digging how it turned out. Uh, but still got to modify the bumper for the dumb tube. Let's find out the weight difference here. You know, not 100% a fair comparison. This one does have the O2 isolator on it and a little more aggressive bullhorn, but get an idea. Let me pick this up. So right over four pounds on that one. Let's see how the titanium one does. Sorry for being shaky. I'm trying to balance this crap without my hand affecting it. This is incredibly difficult to keep balanced without my weight actually affecting the readings. So, looks like what we got there was that exhaust came out 1.2 pounds lighter than the new one. Which, once again, a few, di few differences there, so I'm not surprised. Uh, the dump tube, obviously the new one weighs more just because it's not a little stubby pointing down to the ground. But, cool to know. Let me get this thing on here so I can move on to the next part. This is the first fire up with the new exhaust. Alright, John trimmed the bumper out, um, looks a little phallic, but that's okay, but it looks awesome. Really happy that I finally made use of that titanium that's been sitting for four months. Uh, the car is filthy by the way, so I'll try to at least wipe it off before this come a weekend. So, got a little bit of heat in it, uh, you know, you saw we ran it, then I checked it on the two-step, um, and uh, not because not of the exhaust, but I had to, had to check the new converter stuff. Um, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, not going to adenize it yet. I uh, really feel like I need to make that more consistent. Uh, and then maybe we'll do that. But um, still got to trim the bumpers. That's the only thing I haven't done yet. But things I learned were uh, you know, running a 16 cup, I feel like almost like a 20 cup would be better. And uh, when you're back gassing it, you know, the further you get away from the point, this stuff seems really particular uh, to. Uh, where your actual uh, inlet is so even though you know i usually weld my way up so start with the you know, lowest side and work your way up 
um, it feels almost like it looked almost like a even though it had good penetration and it was good on the inside like it should have used more uh, argon uh, on the base of the last weld sorry one just coming up on me uh, but uh, a little bit of experience you know like I said uh, I'm waiting on the O2 to get here uh, O2 bung but uh, that's no biggie and uh, I may um, just tie these two pieces together also I haven't decided yet but uh, so anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video um, you know uh, I would have recorded me welding it but that was like probably three hours of welding that that's nothing I was going to say it's slow to weld and it seems to use a lot more consumables uh, along with argon uh, with uh, the actual filler rod too but uh, in the result it does look super gangster and uh and sometimes if you can't go fast wish you can look cool that's my buddy sammy always says anyways thank you guys for watching make sure you like share and subscribe